everybody wants to use AI to analyze their data sets, especially if you have hundreds of Excel files, PDFs, etc. And then Glide recently launched a Pinecone integration. So Pinecone is a platform that allows you to upload data and create a vectorized database, which is basically the type of database that AI needs in order to go over the content of your files and be able to, for example, answer questions about those documents. So I have already configured my uh, Pinecone account in Glide, very straightforward, you just set up your API key. And then there are a few things that you can do here uh, with Pinecone. So first you can, from Glide, create an assistant, upload files, get the file information, delete a file and send the message. So I have created the assistant manually in Pinecone, which is pretty straightforward. You don't even have to set up a credit card. Um, and then here, what I did is I have this tab, this files tab, where I uploaded my American Express statements from the last four months. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll add here the name, the description, the file. And then here I have an unsubmit action or a workflow here. So it's not only generating or creating or storing that record, that file in um, Glide itself, but it's uploading that file to my assistant in Pinecone, which is named Glide Test. I'm uploading my file. The file name is the decoded file name. Um, and it's generating a file ID in Pinecone. So pretty straightforward. So not only I have my files here in Glide, but I also have them in Pinecone. Now, I have this other tab, which is the questions tab. So again, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. I have just a little form here where I'm asking a question. I'm storing my, my timestamp here. And I also have a workflow here, very simple. So every time I fill in this form, I ask a question, I'm sending this uh, question over to this assistant in Pinecone. I'm sending the message, which is the question that I'm typing here in Glide, and then asking Pinecone to store those results here in these columns. So I'll show you the data um, here. So here I have the question, and then this is the answer that Pinecone is, is giving me. Um, I have the finished reason, so for if there's an error, I'll figure out why. Um, and then the citations here, um, which basically are telling me where, of all of my documents, where is Pinecone finding the answer to my question? So for example, I'll ask, so th the important thing here is that Pinecone, AI, Glide, all of them need a little bit of context. Uh, and right now I'm writing this context in um, my prompt here, but I would be able to generate part of the prompt and store it on, on the back end so that users don't have to do this every single time. In this case, uh, I'm telling um, the assistant what the files that Pinecone has stored are, and then, um, I don't know, based on this information, uh, what a vendor I'm spending money with every month. And what's the typical amount? So I click submit and then what Glide is doing now is it's sending this question, remember on this workflow, sending the message to Pinecone then, then Pinecone is going, going over all of my files, trying to find an answer to that question. And then when it does, it'll store the results back on this, um, on this field. Cool, so here you can see, uh, it's a very ugly interface, but here you can see the answer from Pinecone. So based on the Provider American Express monthly statements, here are the vendors that you're spending money on every month, like Google, uh, whatever, 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 right? So it's pretty interesting. Um, I've been trying out a bunch of different questions and sometimes it doesn't do a perfect job. So I think that as always, the prompting part today is very relevant and very important. So when we are implementing these kind of solutions for our clients, we're always having like part of the prompt on the back end. So in this case, since this is a 
an assistant that has my uh, American Express statements, what I would do on my workflow, instead of just sending the question by itself, I would probably create an additional column, uh, a template column in Glide with a, let's call it a pre-prompt, um, a system prompt so that it knows what my assistant is about, what kind of files it has, um, how do we want to format the output, etc. And then you have like the user interaction with the user generated question. That is something that we're doing on every single app that has this kind of AI chat component because people will, they won't think throughout the whole prompt and how to prompt the system. So we got to help them on the back end do that. When we have apps that have like an admin section, we are allowing the super admin of the app to modify that prompt inside of the app itself so that they don't have to go into the back end and do those kind of things. Um, but yeah, pretty powerful, pretty cool stuff with Pinecone. Um, we're building these for very large companies that have huge data sets, hundreds of PDF files. And instead of going through each and every single PDF trying to find something, they'll just ask a question to the AI through Glide you can have multiple assistants though, and then with Pinecone uh, vectorize the, the database and then bring back the result. Even referencing, I haven't added that to the to the front end here, but here you can see that I have an AI column that's basically, this is the citations that Pinecone is giving me. And then I have an AI column getting the link and the location um, to that specific um, part of the document that Python is referencing to. So basically a link of a bunch of links. So yeah, that's it for now. If you want to make your business run better using AI, reach out to the Loco team. Thanks for watching. Bye.